The other problem that GPs have is managing Barrett's. Have you got any advice for us on that? Barrett's is, is a histological diagnosis based on the identification of a change in the lining of the esophagus. So in Barrett's esophagus we have a change from the normal squamous mucosa to a columnar lined epithelium lining the esophagus. And this is due to long term reflux over a period of time. It is uh, initially identified by endoscopy and confirmed by histological assessment of biopsies taken at, at the time of the, uh, of the endoscopy. So if Barrett's is confirmed, there are some strict guidelines that the BSG has published around what should be initiated in terms of treatment and follow-up protocols. Such patients should typically be on high-dose acid suppression. They should be given dietary advice, stop smoking, live healthily with a good diet, um, and they should be in a surveillance program, which depending on the nature of the Barrett's is usually a two to three yearly endoscopy unless there was evidence of any dysplasia, which means the presence of abnormal cells on the biopsies. In such a case, they may they have to be considered for either more frequent endoscopy or even some more invasive tests uh, to remove any dysplastic cells.